Hello YouTube, it is the Gosler here, bringing you, after uh, a much anticipated wait from all nine of you, a, uh, a, a fifth gen battle I had against my longtime rival. Uh, Pikachu is level 100 from the Dragon's Den .com. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, this is a Trick Room team that I've been using. It's been working pretty well for me so far. Um, I'm still working out a couple kinks. There's uh, a couple moves I need to change, a couple uh, effort values that I need to switch up. So um, I'm going to start off with my uh, Slow King. I usually start off with uh, Bronzong. Um, so I figured, I thought he was going to go with Tentacruel. I figured I could scare him with a Psychic move and get a free Nasty Plot. Uh, in this case, I wanted to go for a free Nasty Plot because I knew he was going to set up Stealth Rocks. And I figured he was going to go for uh, maybe a light screen. I figured if he's got explosion, uh, he might have reflector light screen, maybe meteor mash, and explosion. I didn't. I, I thought that um, Sloking uh, had enough bulk to take an explosion to the face, um, but apparently not. And actually, that really sucked for me because I got cocky. I used my nasty plot first, and I never got to get off my trick room, and one of my trick rumors is now gone. Um, so I'm going to go out to Bronzong, see if I can get a trick room off. Uh, Cloister can't do shit to me right now. Uh, as you can tell, he's going to get like he's going to withdraw and go to Blaziken, which turns out to be a problem. Um, I set up Reflect, and then I'm going to try to go into a trick room. I'm pretty sure he goes for the Flare Blitz and uh, wreck some serious face. Uh, this Bronzong's pretty bulky. It's, um, it's not max anything, I don't think, but uh, it's got like some attack investment for explosion, uh, some special defense, HP and defense. I was just really messing around with uh, the effort values. Um, I made this team a couple weeks ago and I haven't really looked at it since. I figured, uh, you know, I, uh, I had it down the first time, but um, obviously there's some things that I need to change. Um, so he takes me way past half. I get uh, my trick room off and he predicts my explosion, but I knew he was going to predict my explosion, so I decided to go with Stealth Rocks. Uh, he went into Scissor, which was a good choice. I figured he would um, go for a Swords Dance. I didn't know if it was Band-Aid, if it was Life Orb. I don't know if he was going to go for a Mock Punch, because I mean it wouldn't really do too much to Bronzong, but I figured he would have switched. I don't carry uh, HP Fire on Bronzong. Now at this point, I really should have went out to uh, to Dust Noir instead, but I decided to go out to Reuniclus. I uh, figured because this is like all this team is bulky because I I can afford to put in some bulk because I don't have to put in any speed, which I think is great. Um, so it does over half, and I was like, okay, well I can't really afford to uh, to take another one of those to the face, so I'm just gonna go to Gigalith and uh, see if I can get a Rock Blast in. It'll be a neutral attack, and uh, it's a stab a stab move. Um, this Gigalith is max attack, max defense, uh, with the Choice Band. Um, so it's Rock Blast really, really hurts. Um, so he's going to withdraw and go out to Cloister, which kind of sucked. I figured... I figured maybe he would have been banded, but then I saw the life orb, and I was like, fuck, I hope he doesn't U-turn. Uh, I hope he just withdraws normally, because then uh, he broke my sturdy ability, and I would really bank on that in, um, in a lot of matches, so that I can at least either explode, because I do carry explosion on this um, Gigalith. And uh, so it's like, okay, he's gone to Blaziken, firefighting, Rock Blast is going to be uh, a neutral attack. Um, I don't have Trick Room anymore, but I figured I could live the fighting move. I don't think he carried a uh, high jump kick. So, he's got the Life Orb. I mean, because I was max defense, uh, I figured I could take it. Uh, that was just arrogance on my part, I, I guess. I, uh, I put a little bit too much faith into my Pokemon and not enough faith on my prediction skills. So, I ended up losing two key... Uh, key parts of my, my team here. Um, I lost one of my Trick Roomers and one of my Trick Room Sweepers, um, which sucked. And it's not a speed boost, basically, and I don't know what ability it had. I, uh, I didn't bother asking him. Um, I didn't really look or anything either, so I decided I'm just going to go to Reuniclus, and uh, it should be able to live a Flare Blitz, and it'll end up killing itself with Recoil and Life Orb. 
and uh, maybe I can I can do something. But no, this Blaziken just swept three of my Pokemon, and I was just like, fuck. I, what am I like supposed to do? So I mean, that uh, really didn't turn out very well at all. Um, so he's gonna go to Scissor. I think I'm gonna go to Dust Noir. Yes. So I go to Dust Noir. I think I'm gonna go for Will O Wisp first because I know I can live any move. It's gonna be a three hit KO. I think. Um, I forget what I do here. Here he goes to U-turn, and I'm pretty sure I just I selected Will O Wisp. Um, either predicting a U-turn or uh, just to get it out there. I didn't really care if he switched. I just wanted to get some burn damage on some of his Pokemon. Residual damage is always nice, no matter what, even if it's uh, even if it's a Tentacruel. So I go for the Will-O-Wisp, and I'm pretty sure it hits. So now he's burnt, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so here I'm just predicting uh, Surf, Poison Jab, Sucker Punch, uh, maybe a barrier baton pass. I don't really know what this tentacruel's got. Um, so I'm just going to trick room and yeah, so he's got one dark attack. I figured he might have sucker punch. Uh, he gets a crit on the knockoff, but it doesn't really do fuck all. Um, I go for my trick room, obviously, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to shadow punch it to death. Um, another change I need to make is I need to replace shadow punch with Shadow Sneak because there's too many times I found that I get a chance to revenge kill and I don't have my trick room up and Dust Noir is a beast but it can be obviously any Pokemon can get taken out uh, by the right counter if you have it on your team but if you don't then it works out really well now uh, I was speaking with Pikachu during well speaking with him during the battle and he actually meant to put uh, mirror I don't know magic coat on his tentacruel, not mirror coat. So here he was using mirror coat, wondering like, what the fuck? How come it's not working? Because you're an idiot and you smoke too much weed. That's why. Uh, pay attention more, you know. Um, so tentacruel gets taken out, and I think I just go right into another will o wisp here. And yeah, I really uh, I made a, another mistake here by going into will o wisp. Uh, I should have just went into Ice Punch and just got some damage on it because uh, this ex Executor is going to be a bitch to deal with for me. Uh, I still have uh, X Cavalier and uh, he's got the Stab X Scissor, so I wasn't like uh, that worried about it. But at the s at the same time, I didn't want to get sleep powdered, and I didn't think he was going to waste uh, sleep on um, on Dust Noir. Um, I figured he was just going to take it out and sleep my next Pokemon. Um, but I got, I got cocky, I, uh, I went for the Wisp, I should've just went for the Ice Punch, then I might have, uh, I might have been able to, um, to get another Trick Room up. Uh, I think now all my, all my Trick Rumors are dead, and this is my last Pokemon, so, this, uh, Exeggutor doesn't have anything to hurt me with, really, um, I need to change the item that I have on this X Cavalier. He's got a Focus Sash just because a lot of people these days are running around with Hidden Power Fire. Um, so I figured I could switch in to the Hidden Power Fire and, and be able to live at least once in case my Trick Room wore, wore off or if they've got Focus Sash or Sturdy or whatever the case may be, I would at least be able to live a, a one hit at least. Um, this X Cavalier is pretty bulky as it is, um, but I was just I've seen a lot of battles uh, these days on YouTube as I was waiting to uh, to get my my Gen 5 and then my my router broke, so I had to buy a new router and I had to wait till I get paid and then I had to buy an action replay and stuff like that. So um, uh, yeah, so I ended up waking up on the second turn, which was huge because if that didn't happen, I would have easily got destroyed. He still got Scizor. At this point in the match, I was wondering what I should do because I have Pursuit, Iron Head, X Scissor, and Reversal. And the only move that I have that's not uh, resisted is Reversal. So I was like, okay, well, I don't know what his uh, Bug Bite's going to bring me down to. I'm just going to go for a Reversal and hopefully bring him down enough so I can live his next attack. And uh, I was kind of hoping it would just kill him, but he goes for the U-turn. And I live with 7 HP. And he gets killed with Life Orb. So that was a pretty uh, epic win. I'm really grateful to X Cavalier's bulk uh, 
he did a good job. I thought um, I thought I could have made a, a little bit some more better predictions, more better. Uh, I'm still fairly new to fifth gen. Uh, I'm still getting used to some new abilities, move sets. Um, so it's going to take me a little bit more time, but I'm looking forward to uh, to battling you guys. If you uh, if you want to battle, you know where to reach me. Just uh, the dragonsden.formotion.com. Uh, I'm usually there these days. I'm not working uh, right now. I got some time off, so uh, I'll be there for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I will talk to you again. Hopefully, uh, I get another epic battle soon, and I'll post it for you guys. All right, enjoy.